Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a chart of the NASDAQ, four-hour chart, going over the last six weeks. As you can see, it's a perfect AB equals CD. The numbers are right there uh, in front of you. Uh, also, if you'll take a look at the Trade What You See newsletter, you'll notice that high in the NASDAQ was an exact 786 on the weekly chart. As a matter of fact, I had a rough view of that from one of our friends over in Saudi Arabia was kind enough to send it and I'm going to bring it up here so you can see it uh, here today and uh, you'll, there's also a better version of this uh, in the, um, let's try it again Larry, in the uh, newsletter, Trade What You See. Also a special announcement, uh, John Jameson's new uh, letter, uh, Unchartered, which is part of the Trade What You See family, is going to be made available tomorrow. If you would like to receive it, it's free. It's part of what we do together. And uh, the, all you have to do is to send a request to Larry at TradingTutor.com. If you've already done that, don't send it to me again because you're going to be double posted and then you'll be deleted. But if you've already asked for it, you're going to get it. If you haven't asked for it, just say Larry at TradingTutor.com and I'll put you on the list and you'll get it tomorrow. This is not short-term trading, folks. It is about how to value assets and looking at mispriced assets. That's what his thing is. It tells you a little bit about his background. That alone will keep you entertained, folks. Just listening to his background uh, over the past 30 years, it, it's really quite a lot of fun to listen to what he does. I, I speak to him every day, seven days a week, minimum of one hour, sometimes three hours. So uh, he's an important part uh, of my life, and I've learned uh, a great deal from him these past 20 years uh, that I've known him. The reason why I put this chart up of the NASDAQ is the fact that it's up at that 78% level with the perfect ABCD pattern. But look at some of the things. By the way, our guest today is Jeff Huge. Tomorrow it will be uh, Bill Meridian. On Thursday it's Shane Smolian. And on Friday it will be Stan Harley. Those are our guests this week. Very, very nice to have those folks on. Okay, just let me show you some of the things to give you an idea of how oversold. Let's try it again, Larry, how overbought the market is. Let's get this up here just to show you what happens during the month of June. Uh, when the market tops in the month of June, you're going to, they call it the June swoon. You see, the odds are in the last 14 years, uh, I believe all during these years, you can see we've been a down. Now, some of them were pretty dramatic, and some of them took a long time. All it tells is that there's a short-term top up in here. I said in the in the videos uh, that I sent out uh, Friday night and then also on Sunday night that uh, if you could sell that S&P anywhere near unchanged to sell it and uh, uh, just use a 20-point stop, and, of course, it went down and, and then bounced back a little bit. But that's not where our real – a focus was on this week, folks. We were took profits in the corn and beans, and I had a very uh, <laughs> un, unsleeping night to, until Sunday night when the, the, the grains opened higher, and uh, they were open to be open 20 to 40 cents higher in the beans and 30 cents higher in corn. They didn't open anywhere near that, and I said in the video, that's the first, uh, first sign that uh, it's probably going to correct, and now they've all reversed, and they're down on the day. We're going to be waiting for our first chance, you know, to buy into it. So that's another one that we really want to look at. Here's another one here that comes from one of our friends. It shows us that the relationship of, uh, just get this, how the P-E ratio works. You'll notice here where we were. Look at this, folks. We haven't been this high in 25 years to see the P-E ratios at these levels. This is really quite amazing. But to me, 
the most important chart is the one that I've talked about three or four weeks now. Nobody gives it much attention, but this is the one that really means a lot to me. This is the stocks of the Dow Joe, excuse me, of the S&P 500. You'll notice the ones in the black line with the swings. Those are the seven stocks out of the 500. So there's seven out of the 500. You can see where the rest of the S&P is. Now, the S&P, of course, when it went considerably above the 61% retracement, the NASDAQ went to the 78% retracement on the long-term weekly chart. That was from the high in January of 22, folks. So this is what I'm seeing is an A, B, C, D, three drive to a top pattern. In these. Now, this, this was one week old when I posted this, and this was in the time they were going straight up. So it went actually higher than these levels by a little bit. Not very much. Also, those of you that uh, follow Tesla, if you remember, we had a price target on Tesla of 266. Uh, it's one of the few stocks that's up today, and the gift, you'll never guess what the high is. Yes, Johnny, I see you back there. It is 266. Now, here's a little bit of trading psychology, folks. This comes from somebody that uh, uh, his name is Alan Edward, and he happens to be called the divergent trader. But he's got a cute little uh, ditty here about trading and what trading is all about. Okay, and Mark Douglas was he would love this one here. And if you notice and see what it says in the trading here, it's really quite cool. It says, "Trading is simple. Take a loss, move on, next trade." Two, take a win, move on, next trade. Repeat, repeat steps one and two. Folks, that's what I do. Now, I know that all of you, I got two or three. We, we've had some really great trades here today. Uh, we were, well, I'll just show you uh, what they were because they, uh, they were posted, you know, long ahead of time. The first one, of course, oh, come on, Larry, get up here. This was the uh, the one in the crude oil. This made well over $2,300 so far uh, today. We had a perfect ABCD up there. The high was a 1738, and uh, it's it's uh, this really started from the beginning and and worked pretty good. The second one, of course, was the gold trade. You know, we've been bullish and bearish gold, but last night on Friday, of course, we we were bullish. We got out of the position. And then we saw a position that says we probably should get ready to go short. And we did up there at that uh, 1969 level. And we have a buy stop now at uh, 1951. That locks in $1,800 on that one. And so those are the ones that, that we're trying to do. I know when you're trading, you're going to have periods where you miss trades and you don't put orders in. I must have had a half a dozen people saying, you know, I did two trades in a row, then I didn't do a couple, then I made three losses in a row, then I didn't do the next three that were winners. What do I do? What do I do, folks? you got to be consistent. I mean, if you believe in these patterns, and if you don't think consistency is important, buy the floor trader's handbook, for God's sake. It'll prove to you that the ABCD pattern works. I mean, we did, I think, 30,000 you know, uh, trades on that darn thing to prove that it that it's right about 61% of the time, and it'll pay you, you know, two to one. So that that's what it's all about. Hey, we're going to take a break here. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the chart here showing you the overbought condition in the stock market going back to nineteen forty five. That was the end of the big war, folks, World War II. And uh, believe it or not, I was five years old. And by golly, that's been up there only 12 times where we've been two standard deviations uh, at this level where we came into this week. So that in itself tells you that you're uh, probably extremely uh, uh, over overbought. And so that's what we're watching. Um, what I try to do when I'm trading, folks, and I teach this as best I can to the people, is you've got to you've got to be consistent. In other words, you've got to do the same thing over and over again, especially if you know that it works. Doing something that doesn't work and doing it over and over again is what we call uh, what is it, crazy, not craziness, but uh, it's insanity. I think that's what uh, Albert Einstein said. It, and doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is a definition of insanity or a way to go insane. And I and I think there's a really strong uh, reasoning behind that. So all I try to do is I try to find patterns that line up that give me a pretty good idea of where the market's going to go. Never 100%, never will be, can't be. So that's the way that it has to be. So you just got to do them all. That's it. Case in point, let me just show you here what we've been waiting for all morning here. Now we're going to take a quick look. I got to do this live because this is why it's fun to see things unfold here. But here is the 13 minute chart on the S&P uh, E-Minute E-Mini. And you'll notice here we missed the exact 78% of the low that we made here last week. Before we had the big run up, this was Thursday and Friday. And you'll notice here's where we are right here. We came down within four points of the exact 78% level. Okay, and look where the 382 comes in here, folks, within two points of where we're trading right now at 44.42. Uh, excuse me, 43.42. So that's what, you're, that's what you're paying attention to here. So... Uh, you know, that, that's just a 382. Now, that's a strategy that we used in gold. It worked. Strategy we used in crude oil, and it worked. Strategy that we used in uh, the natural gas last week, it really worked. The one we did in bonds, it really worked. But they don't always work. 
Now, if you're going to do something like that, and I, and I just see that they've just hit that number just now, so that's going to be that's going to be really interesting to see what's going on here. So we're already through it by two and a half, by one and a half points. So we're going to be watching it. But that's that's a trade setup that you're in a down market and you've had a three eight two retracement. So the sale is at forty four forty two, risking about five points is all you have to risk. That's all we're doing as we do this now. I, I know mo many, many of you are not familiar with the 382 retracement. Those of you that have attended any of the live trading sessions that we've done or read any of my books and stuff, you'll talk about, well, there's not too much in the books. Uh, there is a, in the very first book, uh, Astro Cycles, a trader's viewpoint, there was, but actually the only one that was not there was uh, uh, I had to be, was the 135 pattern because of the uh, the uh, Longstreet boys asked me to not put that in until after they had passed away and then I could start uh, talking about it which I've done but they're all they're all related to probabilities folks that that's all it is there's nothing anything really any more exciting than anything else that this it really isn't you don't know which ones are going to work and which ones don't. But if you start staring at the machine all the time and wondering whether the prices are going to go up or down, you're 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 doomed, because you know we keep score with money here. And if you're following what the money is, that's not where it is. You have to be following what your what your system says, and don't worry about that. Don't worry about the money, you know, because it's it's going to be there. If you wanted to buy something, say you wanted to buy an expensive wristwatch for yourself or your significant other. If you want to buy that wristwatch, put it behind the machine. Don't don't be looking at it. Don't put the put the wristwatch up there and say I've got to make this uh, twelve hundred dollars to buy this watch for my significant other. No, no. Try to make the twelve hundred dollars the normal way, then buy it. Because if you start putting you know pictures of things to do on these things, it's not going to be a very very pretty sight for you because it just doesn't work that way. I sat here for six years and listened to Mark Douglas lecture that to everybody that ever came here. And that's why I, I believe in it so strongly because I've seen it so many times. You know, it's just really amazing. It, it truly is. I wanted to show you one other chart that was kind enough to, Rich Anderson was kind enough to send this one to us. This shows you the number of times that the NASDAQ has been, uh, you can see, you can read the, the, the sequence right there. It says, from uh, how many times it's been 20% above the 150-day moving average uh, in the last 14 years. Okay, you can see that 14 times. Look what happened right afterwards. Anywhere from nine sessions to six sessions or five sessions or 13 sessions, 20 C sections. Those are day trading days. Uh, look at look at the look at the retracements. The worst one, of course, was in 2021. I believe that was COVID-related, and that was down 37%. Um, uh, the median, the median break was 11 to 12%. This is in an over. That's a that's a significant move. So that's what we're watching. We're watching these things unfold. Now, someone's asked a question about the uh, the weather market, folks. I rely on what Rich Anderson sends me, and all I do is I try to bring it to your attention the best I can. Because I don't follow the fundamentals at all, but Rich uh, watches the the weather. And since I was already out of the positions, that we we made a nice move, folks. Six thousand over six thousand dollars in beans and uh, three thousand dollars in corn in five trading days. And I took profits. And then I said, oh, I should have waited because they did open higher on Sunday night, but not that much. I posted the heat map up here, and you can see here the, the lower right-hand one is the one you want to be looking at. This one down here in the lower right corner because that's the those are the three eyes, Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana. There used to be a baseball league. Uh, they called the 3i three three I League. It was a Class A baseball team from Terre Haute, Indiana, the Terre Haute Phillies, Phillies, uh, company, uh, Phillies uh, Farm Club. Anyway, those three states account for the bulk of corn and soybeans okay now the others are there too but this is the bulk and as you can see here it's it's warm they've had some rain but very little the call last night was sharply higher 40 cents higher in beans 20 cents higher in corn and when they couldn't open there they didn't even get anywhere close to those opening calls that mean that selling came in 
And that meant that that was very important. That's a question of you know, watching the news and how it reacts to the news. And that is really important in my book. If you've ever read Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre, he harps on that book chapter after chapter is listen to what the market is trying to tell you. If a market cannot go up on good news, it only has one way to go. Look at the figures on housing today, folks. Blew it out of the park. And what did the stock market do? Down 350 points in the Dow Jones. So that's what we're paying attention to here today. Now, we're going to have a, a guest coming up. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights will be our guest uh, here at the break. And then, as I mentioned, tomorrow we will have Bill Meridian. And on Thursday, we have Shane Smolian. And on Friday, we're going to have Stan Harley. So stay with us, please. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have as our guest today, Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Jeff, how are you doing today, my friend? I am doing well, Larry. Thanks for having me on the show today. Oh, I was looking forward to this. Believe me, I see it. your very first chart is the, the bullish sentiment uh, into the extreme level. It looks like it's going to about 82 RPMs. What do you think is going to happen from here, my friend? 
Well, you know, usually when we get up above uh, 75, it indicates that everybody's all in the game. But it's not just the CNN fear and greed index. It's This is a really good graphic, and that's the reason I used it, just to kind of express what's going on. But, you know, there's others out there. The DSI, which is the Daily Sentiment Index, put out by TradeFutures.com, and that looks at retail futures traders. That's been up in the, uh, you know, low to mid 80s for the last three, four days. Uh, for S&P futures, and in the 90s for NASDAQ futures, we've also got the um, uh, um, investors, um, uh, what is it, the II, uh, 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 I'm, to, I'm, I'm drawing a blank, Larry, it happens occasionally in my old uh, age. Uh, investors it. Business Daily, is that the one? No, it's, it's the um, uh, the II um, poll, survey poll of advisors, it'll come to me, but anyways, it's it's got, it gotten up to about 53% bulls at this point. It, that's pretty close to where it tends to top in the mid-50s. Sometimes it'll mm-hmm. get up as high as 60. But, gosh, you know, when we're in a recovery rally still, to get to this level of bullishness is, is really unheard of without new highs. Mm-hmm. So, you know, advisors are pretty much all in. And, you know, we've also seen things like the name index, the exposure index for professionals. They're at 90% invested now. And, and even individual investors uh, on the AAII poll, which is notoriously bearish to begin with, you know, we've got uh, the bull bear spread at about 22 and a half. That's positive now versus negative 42 percent back at the October low. So, you know, we've seen basically a, a 60 percentage point swing to the bull side. You know, the point is everybody is all in at this point. Yeah, boy, it certainly appears to that. You watch the Bloomberg live. First thing I do in the morning is to check Bloomberg. And my goodness, uh, Friday, I, I had not heard this much bullishness since the top of the dot-com bubble. I mean, they were they were actually giddish and, you know, laughing. And, you know, and whenever you hear that, oh, dear, yeah. pride goeth before the fall. So I, I was looking for some major areas uh, to look at. You've got some other charts here that I'd like to bring up to the folks because you do have some really good stuff but there's one thing that I wanted to talk about we'll talk about these these AI stocks that I think that people should look at but the one thing I want to discuss with you Jeff is uh, you know you've been uh, actually been pretty good on this market except for the last couple of weeks but your record uh, Jeff when I look at your record I, I just literally uh, folks, he's very successful at what he does, but he's only right about 38, uh, around 30 percent of the time. And when you look at those statistics, boy, that that shows you an absolute perfection in uh, money management and risk control. Jeff, I, I my hat's off to you because I, I when I see those figures like that, I, your your quality of your trade execution is really uh, it, it's exemplary. I mean, it's just I give you four A's if I could give you four A's. Unfortunately, <laughs> we only go to three A's here, so you get just three A's. But uh, you, well, you should really. Yeah, it's, it's all the truth. about uh, managing risk, right? You know, it's like, yes, it is. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Losers, as soon as you realize they're not going the way that you want. Let them let them go and uh, yeah. just hang on to those winners and let the winners run. And, and sometimes the winners will fake you out. You'll get a good 20 percent gain and you'll raise your stop to a stop loss uh, level to a break even. And the stock will come back and, and you'll get taken out. And, you know, that happens. But uh, let the winners run. Sell the losers as soon as you realize they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, now you got this. These four charts up here. Who's driving the bus? Well, it's not the bus driver. It's AI. It must be all, yeah, all automatic. Yeah, it is AI. But um, you know what? Uh, this this chart is interesting because it really shows a dispersion between the price of the stocks. We've got Apple, Microsoft, Google, and Nvidia. Three of them are hitting new all-time record highs. Uh, Google's the laggard, but it just made a new 52-week high recently. Um, but what we're seeing in the orange line or the gold line is the net block order flow. And uh, we're seeing that institutions are not driving this, okay? Uh, what is happening is it's, it's retail performance chasing. And, you know, sometimes money flow data just helps you put uh, everything in context. And what it is really saying here is, you know, fundamentally driven institutional buyers are not pushing these stocks higher. It's retail performance chasing that's driving it. And some hedge fund involve, involvement that's just kind of, you know, trying to, to trend follow, right? Uh, but a lot of it is just passive money and passive uh, 
uh, money flow going into the indexes that's pushing these things higher. And that is not, uh, you know, a recipe for success longer term because eventually, you know, the whales will recognize that this can't go on forever. And then when you start to see net block order flow turn deeply negative, and we're on the cusp of that already, um, we could start to see institutional selling, and that will take this market down. They're just poised for liquidation is what it tells me at this juncture. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's move on, and we'll get another chart up here and uh, let the folks see what you're dealing with here. Oh, here comes Black Swan Alert. Uh, this ought to get their attention, that's for sure. I really think something serious is coming because I hadn't seen this much, uh, what do you call it, uh, overblown uh, bullishness in a very, very long time. And as you know, I've been, I missed that last 100 points in the S&P for sure, but uh, I think. Uh, How did I? <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. Like like my grandma says, you got to have two quarters when you get on the bus, because if you don't find the girl on the first bus, she'll probably be on the second. So I always carry some <laughs> extra quarters in my pocket. Okay, tell us what the black swan alert is. Yeah, you know, last time we were on the show, Larry, I showed uh, the open interest in options uh, right now, in call options. And that is really um, what's driving the SKU index as high as it is. Um, what the SKU index really captures is how the market is pricing left tail risk. And well, when that SKU is at 100, that indicates kind of a normal distribution of S&P 500 returns. But as it approaches 145, the probability of a two standard deviation downside move in uh, prices uh, jumps from about 2% to 15%. And wow. you know, when we have this juxtaposed against the VIX, when the VIX gets very, very low and the skew index is very, very high as it is today, that, that you know, you get the alligator jaws wide open as I've kind of illustrated them there. And that um, basically is indicative of a higher uh, or really the most elevated level of risk of a black swan event, something that the market just isn't pricing in at this point. And what this is saying is that the options market is not pricing in the level of risk that probably exists in the market. Last week, we saw the SKU index jump up to 157 intra-week, but then it reversed sharply lower. And we saw the VIX close at a 40-month low on Friday. That is a risky proposition at this point. And my suspicion is that, you know, these two indexes are poised to converge, and those alligator jaws are going to snap shut and that will uh, occur in, in concert with a big decline in equity markets, in my opinion. Wow. Okay, we've got to pay a few bills. We'll be back with Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights, folks. Stay with us, please. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. 
These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, and he's got a chart up here that'll be very interesting to most people. The mother of all melt-ups. They're talking about that old dot-com bubble. Boy, that was uh, – we saw the uh, NASDAQ lose 85% of its value. I remember that uh, friend of mine, Tom Hugard, was uh, short all the way down and uh, became very famous on that move. But uh, tell us what you're looking at here, Jeff. Well, you know, uh, Larry, there's a uh, well-regarded economist by the name of Ed Yardeni, who I respect quite a bit. Oh, and I know Ed, yeah. This, yeah, he's coined this frame, the mother, mother of all melt-ups. He's been calling this move off the off the October lows, the mother of all melt-ups. And, and, you know, I don't know that how you could really say it's a melt-up when we haven't even hit a new all-time high yet. And I started doing a lot of um, analogs just to kind of see where it fit best. And, you know, I think the closest uh, fit is really to the dot-com boom-bust cycle that we had between 1999 and 2001. If you go back to 2020, where we came off those COVID lows, the the rise into the the peak in January of 2022 was very similar percentage-wise to the rise into uh, the peak in uh, March of 2000. And the decline was very similar as well. It counted five waves down at a lower degree of trend. What we determined was looking back at that dot-com boom bust, that was a break into cycle wave four. Uh, the peak was cycle wave three in, in March of 2000. We peaked at super cycle degree in January of 2022. And so we are in the early stages of super cycle wave four, and it's likely to be bigger and badder than what we saw in uh, back in the 99 to 2001 period. But the interesting thing is the rally off the initial decline, which uh, uh, back in uh, the 2000 period uh, was slightly greater than a 61.8% retracement, up about 43.5%. The rally that we've seen so far off the October lows in the NASDAQ is about 46.5%. So just about 3% difference. We've overshot that 618 retracement by a little bit as well. We're actually knocking on the door of the 78.6% uh, the retracement. But the shape is basically the same. It's three waves. It's a little bit more mm -hmm. complex this time. Uh, we count it best as a double zigzag versus uh, a, a zigzag previously. Uh, but what followed uh, intermediate wave two back in August of uh, 2000 was a 70% plunge into the uh, wave A low, uh, which came in around September of 2001, right about the time the Twin Towers went down. Uh, this oh. time, we are expecting things to be at least that bad, if not worse, when they mm -hmm. break. Uh, I don't have any idea what will be the cause of that, uh, but I think you have to ask the question at this juncture, uh, do you want to be long 
um, you know, the stocks that are driving this, those those seven stocks, the magnificent seven, as they become known, uh, mm-hmm. at the peak of this hysteria, or do you want to own T-bills safely and earn five and a quarter percent on your money and watch as a spectator while uh, what is likely to become an epic collapse unfolds before your very eyes? Yeah. Jeff, you know, I do a lot of work on that NASDAQ. I hardly ever trade it, but I watch it because there are so many people are in it. And that we, if by, based on my work, we made an exact 78.6 retracement on the weekly chart. Uh, I did that and I, I double checked it. And I think it's within, within nine points uh, of the exact number, which to me is pretty much spot on. So uh, that, that, that to me is the fact that we've come off 150 points. So far, which isn't very much, but uh, I think that's an, a very significant point to make. Maybe we go up a little bit higher one more time, but we'll have to wait and see. But it's certainly interesting. We've got a couple other charts here that I'd like to get to because, you know, you, you do so much work here that I think it's really uh, – oh, well, this one's really interesting here. This is the uh, S&P here. Let's get this up here, and uh, we'll see what's happening. Hold on here. I want to give – short term. Short-term okay. Elliott Wave uh, view on the S&P 500. Mm-hmm. And what we've really done is we've kind of blown up that, that period really from October uh, to present. So you can kind of see uh, how things have unfolded. Three waves up into the February 2nd high. Uh, we count that as the first zigzag of a double zigzag peaked on February 2nd. Then we got that collapse into the March 13th low. Also mm-hmm. three waves. And that was as the banking crisis was unfolding. That was an X wave. And since mm-hmm. then, we've seen another three wave advance unfold. Uh, and we think we're in the terminal stages here. We've got a couple of targets that we've been uh, playing around with. The first one was hit on Friday at 44.26. That's where wave A and wave mm-hmm. C were equal within wave Y. Uh, the next relationship we see is at 4513. That's when wave W and wave Y will be equal. And then the 786 retracement in the S&P 500 uh, cash index comes into play at about 4534. We think anywhere in there would be a reasonable place for the market to to find its, its peak and begin to uh, sell off. We think a break below 4299 would be a very, very high probability point to suggest that wave three mm-hmm. down is confirmed. We'll know for certain once it breaks through uh, 4186, that'll eliminate all the other possibilities and confirm that uh, primary wave three down is in progress. And we expect that to carry prices significantly below the October 13th lows. You're a, you're a firm believer, look, I am, that wave three is the most violent of all the uh, wave structure. I don't agree with all the Elliott Wave stuff, but I know that wave three, uh, I, I believe everything is three wave, but if that's what I would be looking at as far as being a very, very uh, important swing down, do you agree with that? I, I concur. I think uh, it's, it's been documented that third waves and C waves are the most uh, mm-hmm. violent, they're the most powerful and the most dynamic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh oh, I made a mistake here. I want to get your uh, advertise your cute little cartoon up here that you have for your. Uh, <laughs> oh, shucks! I got this thing mixed up. Don't ever let an Italian work with a mouse. It's it's just just too dangerous. Hold on. Let me get this up here. There we go. Hold on one second now, and we'll get up here and tell the folks how they can get your newsletter. And um, yeah, absolutely. And the, the, uh, and have them so, have them look at the statistics of what you've done. I think that's the most amazing part of that letter. Yeah, we publish that every week, so no doubt. Um, but you know, you can go to hugeinsights.substack.com, um, uh, and that's where you can find our monthly newsletter. We've been publishing this for almost two years now. Uh, we do charge a small fee to get uh, full access, but we give the first four or five pages out as a preview, and it gives a good sense of what we're seeing in terms of the, the economic environment and the market environment and, and where we think, uh, uh, you know, the big macro factors are affecting the markets as they are. Uh, if you really want to know what we think, uh, you can pay $12 a month and uh, get access to the full forecast. We give our positioning recommendations and uh, some, some you know, actionable trade ideas. So investors who are looking to put money to work uh, can take advantage of that. 
Uh, but uh, Huge Insights, the big picture, available at hugeinsights.substack.com. Jeff, thank you so much for being our guest. Stay on the green side of the grass, keep living the dream, and we'll have you on again in a couple of weeks, okay? Yeah, that sounds great, Larry. You have a great one, too. Take you care. Bet. May God bless. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, folks. Stand up guy. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted this chart again, which I think is the most important chart that I've seen in a long time. This is the S&P 493 stocks that are just meandering slightly up versus the seven, the magnificent seven that have been going straight up. But that pattern is a three drive to a top pattern. Uh, and it's gone a little bit higher because this was done about 10 days ago. But I've done a lot of work with this. I've measured the swings. And boy, this is a this is a multiple ABCD, much like wheat was, folks. Remember when wheat was at six bucks and nobody wanted it? Well, I got to seven bucks and everybody wants it. So the buyers and the sellers and can be different seller, be different fellers, as they used to say in that uh, reminiscences of a stock operator by Edwin Lefevre. But this is a very, very important chart. Right now, the market has come down virtually nowhere from the high. It's just within spitting distance of the high, and we can still make another new high. But somewhere in this area, 
Uh, this is it. Remember that June swoon that we looked at with those statistics, 14 out of the last 14 years, June has been down. I mean, that, that that's what it says. I mean, I have, that, that didn't double check that. I double checked two or three of the months, but uh, that, that's what the statistics say. So whether that's part of sell in May and go away, I don't know. But the sell in May and go away didn't work because May was straight up. So you got to be careful. Remember, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. That's the whole key to this whole thing. Like you say, you can lose three, four, five, six times in a row. Fortunately for trade, what you see, we've had a couple of times where we lost three losers, but that's a very rare rare event. But even you could lose four or five, but you're going to have streaks where you, you do everything right for seven or eight, 10 or 11 trades. 19. I've had 19 straight winning days was uh, my longest streak. And I, the 20th day was I was 100% sure it was going to be 20, and I was 0 for 5 that day. And I remember Mark telling me before the day even started, I said, how did you know? He said, it was the inflection in your voice. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Our guest will be none other than Bill Meridian of Cycles Research. So may God bless. Mm -hmm.